Shalom, giving all the praise and honor to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakdash, double honor to the elders of Great Millstone who told me this truth. A sincere Shalom, Labakarium, Shah Yasharela. That's peace to the hopeful election of the nation of Israel. We are the 12 tribes of Israel, the hopeful elect, the Israel of God, hoping to be saved in these last days, kept from the hour of temptation, beamed up by our Heavenly Father through the arms of Yahweh into his glorious chariot, his chambers, to be protected and saved from our enemies and the destruction of this world. What I said in the beginning is the Heavenly Father's true name, Yahweh, Yahi, how is to be or in existence, Bahashem in the name of Yahweh Shah, Yahi, Yahweh Shah, Savior or Deliver, because the saving and deliverance comes through Yahweh Shah. Raka, Kodash, Raka is spirit, Kodash is holy. And you can't do this without the Holy Spirit. So this is a channel that follows geopolitical trends, <clears throat> which is geo represents the globe or something global. And the political trend is what we end the politics of the world and everything that's political affects you directly, whether you know it or not. So this guy, you know, he goes in, this is his channel, subscribe, you know, um, he's very current, you know, I recently subscribed to this guy, got it from uh, one of my elders, Yasha Wanba, from out there in Dallas, Texas, you know, um, I seen uh, the Akya shared this, you know, and um when I subscribe, you know, you know, when you subscribe to a page, you know, you go through it, you know, and as I'm going through his page six months, seven months, you know, he's on it and there's a lot of good topics, you know, but this one right here is dealing with Iraq, you know, and when it's when I saw this, it answered a lot of questions because um, earlier in the week, the secretary of defense, he's a Jake, you know, he's an ancient old spirit from the ancient world but he's in a high position in this um in this current society and uh he was over there and uh secretary of defense of america was over there in iraq earlier this week and i was wondering like why is he over there you know but when i saw this video he answered a lot of questions iraq just dumped the dollar they just dumped it i mean they just dumped it <laughs> like within 48 hours and all their uh, central uh, bank reserves, they converting it over to the, uh, the Chinese currency because everybody's choosing sides right now. There's only like three sides to choose, which is the BRICS nations. You gonna roll with China and, and Russia, or you gonna stay with the American dollar. That's it. So everybody's backing up behind those forces. But when I was looking at this video. You know, this chapter here, this is Isaiah 47, verse 1. This came to mind. This is Isaiah, once again, Isaiah 47, verse 1. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans. For thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Take the millstone and grind mill. Uncover your locks. Make bare your legs. Uncover the thigh. Pass over the rivers, man. You know a woman can't do that. You know, and if you have a skirt on and you passing over the rivers, you got to lift it up. And this is what's happening right now with uh, Great Babylon. The Lord is lifting up the skirt of this daughter this virgin daughter and we're seeing all the private parts meaning the secret things of this kingdom that they kept in secrecy for many years you know the height of their power was secrecy i think you can go into psalm 64 about that you know the the the, the rothschilds the bilderbergs the duponts the gettys 
You know, the Rockefellers, them hiding in the shadows was the power. The mafia will show you uh, a lesson about that. So now we in an hour of exposing going into Thessalonians. That man is sin. Be revealed. We in the hour of revealing because we're in a time of truth. When the true worshipers shall worship. So when the true worshipers wake up, they wake up to the full understanding of the truth. And Esau is being exposed. So shameful spooning shall be unto him. And when you see his private parts, he's ashamed. He's ashamed because he stole everything. He robbed. He's a criminal. He's a vagabond. He's a fugitive. He's marked. He's the man of sin, the man of perdition. He's Esau. <laughs> he's running from his judgment. This man been running from years. So when Isaiah was saying this, he was saying this in the spirit. That's why he says, see, the dust, the dust represents confusion. And great Babylon is nothing but confusion. And they're confused. The elites are confused about this NWO at the top. They don't know what's going on. And they are, uh, you know, a virgin has never been touched. You know, this place has never been touched on that high level of invasion. You know, somebody's going to put sanctions on this place. The food is going to dry up here. The currency is going to dry up here. The banks are going to be flipped over here. The public are going to grab arms and go into civil war here. Even though they had civil war here. But now it's not going to be dictated by your government. It's actually going to be Edomites fighting against Edomites. Isaiah 19, Egyptian against Egyptian. On a hardcore level. No winners come out of this. So you're going to see things in Great Babylon you never thought you would see. So it says, this is Isaiah 47, verse 3. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yea, thy shame. See that? That's that shameful spoon. Thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance. I will not meet you as a man. But because the Lord coming back in that angelic force that you read about in Revelations 1. You know, when John was seeing John was seeing him in his glory. Yeah, he was a dark skinned man, hair of wool, the garment on down to the foot, all that. But our Lord is in his heavenly body right now. And with that body, you can you can do amazing things. So do all things to your will. And Esau can't do that. You know, he has his artificial intelligence and his uh, motherboards, but he personally can't subdue all things to his will. But our Lord Yahweh Hamashiach can, and he's going to give the same ability to his elect men, his first fruits. And this is why they're bugging out. This is why they, they, you know, they flipping out. So with their dropping, like we, we're going to watch a little bit of this video. You know, these little Jews, they're dropping, man. That's just to keep the public pacified on many levels. But the top elites, they know ain't nothing but judgment and slavery for them. It's no getting away, even when they go into their bunkers. Because the Lord said, I will not meet you as a man. Y'all about to go into a battle with the angelic forces of the kingdom of heaven. And it's going to be one quick. Revelations 12. You know, um, Luke 10, 18. I saw Satan fall quick as lightning from the heavens, man. Revelations 18. In one hour, thy judgment has come. Hello everybody and welcome to Geopolitical Trends. My name is David Waralu. So good to be with you as always. Just imagine this for a second. The United States is sending its troops back to Iraq. And the immediate question becomes, why? So the answer might shock you. Here is why. The United States and the West did not see this coming. Iraq dumps the US dollar and start trading in the Chinese yuan. In this video, yeah, so I am going to the American dollar, you can hang it up. These are some of your last buddies, E. That was holding on to your currency, man. 
Now, Iraq made this move because they next door to who? Iran. Now, Iran, ancient name is Babylon. The first, you know, the second Babylon. Ran under the Nebuchadnezzar. Today, we call it Iraq. They, uh, Iraq got out. Iran is out. Turkey is out. Saudi Arabia, they out. China is out. Turkey is out. South Africa, they out. Everybody's abandoning the dollar right now. Why? Because they see the writing on the wall. This is it for this place. And the funding. And, and mind you, America at one time was the bread basket of the world. But that dollar still holds an influence. So what the Lord is doing is, is beautiful because they're the central bank, the bankers, the top elites are deceived. They created the reputation behind this dollar. And they think they're going to quickly switch it and turn it into CBDCs, which is central bank digital currencies, and get away with this whole crypto system, the Revelations 13 and 16, where they're going to implant people with their grain of rice. And they're going to move on with the destruction in the new world order. And the Lord got them in a trick bag, man. But like I tell you in Romans, for this reason, have I rose thee up so I can show my power in thee. So the Lord is raising this man up. He putting things in their mind that they are actually going to get away with this system. But see, we all on it. <laughs> we know ain't no real war. You guys are just banging the countries together because at the end, you got to destroy the power structure. In order to bring in the new, you got to do away with the old. And the American dollar controls the old. So, unfortunately, you got to do away with the dollar to bring in a new world order. Even if it means millions and millions of people dying a horrible death. You're ready to pull that trigger. So, while the, the mainstream public is looking at this third world's war, y'all are looking at the new world order controlled and ran by you not knowing that the heavenly father <laughs> you know it's beautiful the heavenly father ruleth in the kingdom of men he's behind this whole thing and all the kingdoms are going to be given to our lord Yahweh Shah Hamashiach Isaiah 14 verse 7 and thou saidest I shall be a lady forever so that's what y'all thinking you know, you're going to be this lady, this whore, which is not a, you know, a lady in the standards of respectful and having morals and being virtuous, like you read in Proverbs 31. No, you think you're going to be this whore that you read about in Revelation 17 forever. And thou saidest, I shall be a lady forever. So that thou didst not lay these things to the heart. You're not thinking about this. You're not going to see it coming. It's going to happen so fast. The switch is going to happen so fast, man. And you're gassed up, Esau. You're gassed up right now. But you're not laying these things to your heart. Neither did it remember the latter end of it. Therefore, now this. Thou that art given to pleasure. That the well is carelessly. That says in your heart, I am, and none else besides me. Meaning, you think you're God. Isaiah 14, man. You sitting upon the congregation in the size of the north. You got it like that. That's the mentality of these elites. They're actually, they actually think they're going to get away with this new world order. They're going to slam dance on the people, depopulate, go into the caves, into the rocks, come back out. After the destruction, after the UFO invasion, rebuild and move on as the new gods of the earth. Wow, there's no understanding in him. But these two things shall come to you in a moment. And one day, the loss of children and widowhood, they shall come upon you in their perfection for the multitude of your sorceries. And for the great abundance of your enchantments, man. 
That's your witchcraft. And that's what you rule by, E. Your witchcraft. And that's, that's been running this place for hundreds of years, man. All the nations dealt with witchcraft, too. So all you're doing is picking up where the nations left off. But you're the man of perdition. So the Lord got something special. He gave you a little extra help, Esau, going back to Isaac, our forefather, putting his hand on you when you lost your blessing and you lost your birthright. But he has something for you, that sword. This is the blessing that the Egyptians didn't have. <laughs> the Persian Medes didn't have. They had some stuff, but they never had it like you, Esau. They never had this technology. So we had to hit this height of technology for the final war. And for this reason, you've been built up. So the, our Heavenly Father, Ezekiel 36, can magnify his name in the earth again. So that's what we're seeing. Everybody's dumping his dollar, but they got to bring down the current world to bring forth the future kingdoms. And it's not going to work because that's not prophecy. Our Lord is taking control of this place. All praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah for that, man. That's why we on a winning team. How Sean Hannity say, we on the right side of history, man. <laughs> when the story is told, the whole four lake going to be found on the right side of history. And that's what it's balling down to, man. Bless if your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear. For many prophets, many wise men have desired to see and hear those things which you see and hear. Have not heard them. That was told to the disciples at the time and that's told to us. We understand the mysteries. We receive the mysteries. The Jews, the secret things from heaven. Like knowing there's another kingdom on its way. That's a secret. Meaning it's concealed. It's not for your average mortal. So we take that very serious and we see the fall of this kingdom. And it's happening quick. All praise. Giving all praise to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Shalom.